Tonight, right as America votes, Diane Sawyer reports live from ABC's Times Square election headquarters with all the breaking new details from inside the campaigns on a special World News with Diane Sawyer. Then don't miss ABC Election Night 2012. And a big hello to all of our fans online. We thank you for finding us here. I'm Paula Ferris. And I'm Rob Nelson with the Tom Stories on this Tuesday, November 6th, Election Day. What did you Finally, say again? it is here, Aww. Election Day. This morning, of course, as we said, it is the end of the campaign, Election Day 2012, after more than five hundred days of campaigning and all comes down to today and the candidates still appear to be very much in a dead heat. The president is ahead by a few points according to our latest ABC News Washington Post tracking poll. Last night they went down to the wire campaigning in state after state trying to bring their message to any voter that still might not be sure who they're voting for. Hard to believe any of those folks may be left, but the president and first lady arrived early this morning in Chicago. They're spending the night at their house in Hyde Park where they will be watching the returns. Overnight, we've got another indication just how close the race is. The results are in from tiny Dixville Notch, New Hampshire. And for the first time in the town's history, the vote was tied. Five in favor of President Obama and five in favor of Mitt Romney. Getting to the polls at midnight has been a tradition for the town since 1948. Quick math tells us that's been going on for 64 years. Long night ahead, if that's any indication, right? Mm -hmm. And while the voters in Dixville and Notch were early, they were far from the first. A record number of Americans, about 46 million, cast ballots in early voting this year. That's more than one out of every three voters in Ohio and, in Ohio and Florida. Florida lawsuits are being prepared already over allegations of fraud and voter suppression. So there really is mm -hmm. no clear understanding just yet as to when we'll actually know who the who won and when all this will be over. Maybe by Christmas or the inauguration. Wishful we'll thinking. Well, there are more steps forward in the recovery from Sandy. The World Trade Center Memorial site reopens to the public today now that damage from the storm has been taken care of. The federal government is making millions available to those who have lost their homes, and the USDA is sending a million pounds of food to the hard hit region. They need the help. That's yes, good. they do. And we are wrapping up our day of giving here at ABC News and Disney and the results have been wildly successful. With the help of our viewers, we've raised now more than 14 million dollars for Hurricane Sandy relief. That includes a generous three million dollar match from Samsung. And of course, all the money goes to the Red Cross, which has done so much already to help. Thank you, everybody mm -hmm. who donated yesterday. Great news. And so many of those donations were just $10 donations and see what happens. It could just snowball oh. one donation after the Whatever next. Whatever you can give, the need is here. Yeah, yeah, the need is great. And you can get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Paula Ferris. And I'm Rob Nelson. Thanks for watching. And please go be heard, go vote, and maybe we'll have some results for you tomorrow. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> this is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Tomorrow, the morning after America votes, more Americans turn here. George Stephanopoulos, ABC News, live from ABC's Times Square election headquarters with new details and what it all means for you on Good Morning America, tomorrow on ABC.